Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh man, let me get this ugly thing off of here. This ain't about this joker here. Let me put that up. Let me put that up. This ain't got nothing to do with this bubblegum shrimp look. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah, I stretched it out a little 10, 15 minutes late. You know, that's how you got to do, you know, let YouTube algorithm catch up. Let me shake this A1 up. You got me a little breakfast. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, you say you finna um, you gonna work out? Yeah. All right. You got your little apple there, apple juice. Oh, green, green tea. tea. All right. Yeah, you gotta do it. Yeah. yeah. Say what's up to the people on live, man. And what's happening, everybody? What's going they on? They say ain't nobody looking. They say zero people looking in the chat. Well, I got the chat going, but go on your YouTube and see if anybody on here because it says zero people watch. Well, now it say two people watching. Mm -hmm. I seen where uh, you know, uh, state drunk. Mm -hmm. Who the state drunk? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bottle of Hennessy. Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> Man, this right here good. Ain't nothing like breakfast, water, and studying herbs. Ain't nothing like it, y'all. Ain't nothing like it. Yeah, that, that smell is good. It smell good? No, you can't have this. You got a job. You know what I'm saying? You work for a living and shit. Hey, all two of y'all that's watching. Come on, come over here. You know what I'm saying? Screwed face, red heart shape. That ain't screwed. That's my boy Chico. They think you screwed. <laughs> oh, I don't let nobody confuse me with that. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Man, hey, look here. You ain't smoking. You ain't studying herb unless you choke it. Dang. Had to pass that. Who is Whippy Rock? Man, hey, look here. Whippy Rock. You ain't studying herb. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know who Whippy Rock is. She, she know. She, she done heard you before. Okay. She said, what's up? I said, what's up, back? Whippy Rock is a pretty emoji. That's all I know about Whippy Rock. <laughs> Um, let me see. Let me put some music on. Hey, check it out. Turn your phone back on again. Let me see how it sounds. With the music on. That should put volume up. Mm -hmm. Oh, hear the music. Okay. That ain't too loud, is it? What's up? I'm just like that. Uh -uh. Nah, screws, uh, screws got, um, I ain't going to tell y'all what screws got. <laughs> Fee pro? 
Yeah. It's about even Steve Blake got paid. <laughs> Man, how y'all doing this morning, man? I'm trying to study these herbs. Uh, uh, uh. Ain't nothing but two people watching, man. Hey, two of y'all. Dang, it say it's 254, but on my screen, it say two. It say two people. It say 315 right there. Yeah, but look on my screen right here, it say two. This is why I try to make sure I'm late, because YouTube be doing some weird stuff, boy. They send out a notification like 30, 40 minutes late. And now it's showing me that it's only two people. It's one person in the chat now. Look, there's only one person watching. Y'all hit that like button so we can beat that crap they trying to do, y'all. Just go ahead and hit the like button now. Don't don't hit it before you leave. I know y'all. some of y'all wait to see if you like it. So you can hit the dislike. Well, I understand, but for right now, just hit the like button. Yeah, you can change it to dislike after the show. Because I only see one person. It's a, I, I need to screenshot this and put it on my wall. Dang, it's only one person watching a bus. And it's the state drunk. No, it's that window boy. But check this out, y'all. How many of y'all? Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> dislike button what <clears throat> the dislike button no longer works yeah it's a one person watching on my screen but yeah man I, hey listen hey dog i'm taking that milk pistol right this is the second day uh, of me back taking this milk pistol you, ever, you heard of milk pistol it, it clean you out it, it clean your kidneys and it, it helps with your kidneys and liver function and stuff like that you know it just help you it make you use the bathroom a lot it make you urinate every 30 seconds i feel like i'm 80 years old so i'm on i'm taking the black seed oil uh the ashwagandha you need to get you some ashwagandha it's good for your your stress and your uh you know so you don't jump up and down on nobody like a traveling you get you some ashwagandha some of y'all need some ashwagandha yeah i got that mullin there yeah, uh, but get that ashwagandha. Get that. Get that black seed oil. They talk about seed Nixon. What's up? What's up? Somebody put that in the chat. Uh, but yeah, man, make sure you get that. And study you some herb. And you take you some milk thistle. Hey, especially you drunks. You drunks. You super drunks. Get you some milk thistle. And some liver rescue. Go to your local Whole Food, get you some milk thistle, and you some liver rescue. You nigga need it, boy. You nigga, uh, I, you know. I normally I used to be on a regimen of just taking milk thistle, and I would take it uh, like for two weeks and get off of it for two weeks just because it just helped you. But I stay taking that ashwagandha and that black seed oil. That ashwagandha keep you cool from. DDT and somebody. <coughs> Raw liver chicken. What? Yeah, that milk. This is old man stuff. Yeah, old smart man. Uh huh. Old old smart man stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm take. I take turmeric in my smoothie. I put. I, I took put turmeric powder, chili powder. I put uh, whole cloves. Yeah, I put cinnamon. I'm going to make me a smoothie today. Yeah. And I take the vinegar tablets. I take the apple cider vinegar tablets. I don't do it all year round. Yeah, I get that Bud Light out. Yes, sir. You put that beer down, you don't drink, and you clean yourself up, clean yourself out. That's what you're supposed to do. See, some of these guys are just some runaway drunks. See, they don't know how to put that beer down, put that whole bottle down, put that wine down, and just clean yourself out. You know what I mean? I, I had me some, uh, 
uh, some cucumbers with some uh, fresh ginger uh-huh. and um, lime juice. Yep. You know, salad this morning is what I ate. That's what that's up. That lime where it's I put that I put I cut the lime and leave the skin on it. I clean it off. I put it in that apple cider vinegar with water, let it soak it for a little bit, clean it off. I didn't even use my vinegar salad this morning. Just use lime. No, I'm just talking about how I clean my fruit before I put it in the blender. Shit, that shit be still having the bugs and stuff on it. Uh-uh. No, sir. I I gotta clean my stuff off. Or I take that vegetable spray, that cleaning spray, because it got vinegar in it. And I'll spray it off and soak it in the water. And then I'll still add a little bit of vinegar. I got to have that vinegar in there. That's a cleaning agent. I'm old school. And I learned the tip uh, yesterday is that with the apples and stuff, that allegedly you boil some water and you turn the pile off and then you drop the apples in there for 30 seconds. Then you take, the, you pour the water off them and then you rub them together to peel the wax off of them. And then you rinse them off and then you put them in the refrigerator. Yeah. Hey, they say you sound like screwed. <laughs> you hang around the ugly motherfuckers long enough, you're going to start sounding like them. My fish neck is bigger than his, though. Your fish neck is bigger than his? Yeah, they better than his. Yeah, so this fish neck is too long. Soak up the oil. Hey, you dirty, man. You got to come up with your own name. He's synonymous for fish neck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Biz, what is going on with you, Biz? Biz, I heard there was some smoke in the city with you, Biz. <laughs> hey, I don't want nothing to do with that. I turned on damn D. I listened. I said, what that? I said, oh, man, I turned off. I went to bed. I don't want, I unclosed my, I don't want nothing to do with that. Dang, y'all. The moderator got beat. A lot of my moderators got beef. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which one of my moderators got the most beef. <laughs> Lemon, tur- turmeric, cinnamon, and ginger. Yep. All that's in my uh, smooth. Yeah. Show sure is. Protein powder. That turmeric bring down the inflammation. You ain't know nothing about that, did you, boy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's all about um, moderation. You can't just mix up a cocktail of that stuff and just think you're going to take it because you can overdo certain things. Uh-uh. I got a certain, uh, um, I put in a certain mix every day. Yeah. yeah. These things ain't going to hurt you. You can have them every day. No. You can have them every day, but everybody can say you don't want to overdo them. Just for supporting bus life, you get haters. I think you might be right. <laughs> but I don't know. Biz is innocent? Man, I don't know whether he is innocent now. I don't know nothing. I don't know what happened. I, I look, I turned it off. I, I see I seen uh him playing it up there with his and the yelling started. I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm out of here. Because I don't want nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. I just get mine from Whole Foods. Right. Right. You might attract this and be like, what? Catch the end of it, KB. Man, I couldn't stay around for that. I don't know what this. I don't know what the start of it was. I couldn't stay around for the end. I, I said, uh. Uh-uh. I turned that movie on, and the movie ended up watching me. And I did pretty good yesterday. I got about two, three lives in. I took it on to sleep. KB, uh, do what? K 
Hey, B, did you really turn down all that money? If so, salute to that. I don't know what money you're talking about. People stay mad looking for a reason. <laughs> Man, I don't know what was going on. I was just like, dang, son. Oh, no, I ain't getting none of that. Uh-uh. My name Bennett, and I ain't in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just it just came across my timeline. Ironically, that's the first time I seen something. That just came across my timeline. That little situation. I'm like, what the? And I, so I hit it, and then it went to woo woo. I said, uh, -uh. I'm out because I don't want to get drawn into nothing. They they trying hard to draw me into a problem, but I think I done had enough problems. My knees hurt. I need to go get my um, mine out of the truck. My hyper, uh, my hyper uh, uh This is a shit right here. That it's in my truck. Uh, I get that shit later. Talk about anything for you. But listen, man. This this uh oh, you say Mike Tyson roll up. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, Lord. But listen, man, those pills right there, boy, I didn't use the bathroom so many times this morning peeing. I feel like I'm 80, man. I'm tired. That's the only reason why I be stopped. I only take it like, I used to take it like two weeks out of every month and you get off. But I, I stopped taking it for, during football season, especially because you drinking beer. And you drinking beer, shit, I missed the whole damn game. What? Yeah, exactly. That beer see you without that. But if I take that milk thistle, I'm going to miss the whole game. <laughs> I'm talking about, I hear, hold on, I'll be right back. Damn, who's cold again? I'll be like, who's just cold? I'm in the bathroom using the bathroom. That's what that milk thistle do, boy. KB, I got that Mike Tyson last night. It's no joke. Well, you know, some people like it. Some people don't. Some people like that weed that knock them to sleep. They, they, they like that stuff that knock them to sleep and... uh you know, they can't move. They like that rapper weed. They, they get caught lacking all the time because they sleep at the red light and sleep at the damn gas station getting so high they can barely move. I don't like, uh, I like to be functional. You know what I'm saying? I like to be able to move. I don't want no shit that, I don't want to be a zombie. No, I, anything that high, uh, uh, you say get high, but don't get too high. Yeah, I ain't no fucking junkie. See, I don't want to just be laid up looking at the ceiling thinking I'm having fun. But I really just laying on my ass looking at the goddamn ceiling. Yeah, I don't want that kind of uh, marijuana. I don't want like I don't like those type of herbs. I think those are the devil's herbs. There's good kind of herbs and those are the devil herbs. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that shit. I could be functional. I can move around. You know, I can say, "Hey, what's up? How you doing, brother?" And chill and, and go enjoy my day. You know. <coughs> I ain't I ain't finna just sit in front of the TV and play video games and shit. <coughs> now hold on, excuse me, y'all need to come here for. I hit some of that damn wapper, uh, that rapper weed before they got their brunts and all that super califagulous bexbialidosis strand this and all this other bull crap. Just that crystal corner cripple light, just that OG knock you on your ass light, yeah. And then you really smoke that shit, and then you just sit and still. You you thinking about everything you got to do. You really want to get up. You really want to move. You you think you done got up. You telling yourself to get up. You just ain't got your ass up. Yet. That's what kind of weed them niggas smoke. Them niggas know they got ops. They know they supposed to be moving around, being on the head on the swivel, but they drinking and smoking every damn thing that make them sit still and be sitting up. Shit. Mm -mm. Them niggas, all they do is hit that rapper gelato, that rapper weed. They know they supposed to be, like, I ain't supposed to be up here, dog. Them niggas lurking. Uh-oh. There they go. I'm supposed to run. Uh-oh. Damn, I should have ran. Ugh. But they high, though. You know what I'm saying? They just high. The motherfucker just high. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. It ain't high. That's low. I don't want no goddamn ops like that. Uh uh. I don't I don't want to be like shh. Mm mm. If, if nigga, I'll stop smoking if nigga. Mm -mm. 
you got to you got to go with the Mike Tyson. That's, it, 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 it's still strong, but it's just, you know it's it's still on a low grade. They they was true about that, and that's why I smoke it, you junkie. <laughs> this fucking junkie trying to get me higher than I. I said my tolerance level, you junkie. <laughs> I had to say that, y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Back to the regular everyday programming. <laughs> Niggas want to make me higher than them. What the fuck? Fucking junkie. Come on, dog. <laughs> they, they the most high. Exactly. Nigga, I ain't trying to be the most high. Telling lies and shit, you dumb high junkie. <laughs> you know all the stuff to get you super high. <laughs> Proving my point. He's a fucking junkie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to give my lungs a break next. You know, once I start, I, hey, one thing at a time. Once I start back drinking, I'll stop smoking, okay? Okay, Ringo? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> and then, even then, I'm going to be out of town, so I'm going to be sipping the tea. I'm going to still get to study the herb. I'm going to just give my lungs a break, but I'm still going to sip it in a tea form. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause it helps with my knee pain and my shoulder pain and my other ankle pain and my foot pain and my back pain. Sure do. It's how I'm rolling the Chris Brown. Yeah, what? Yeah, he's showing the hypocrisy against black men. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that later. I'm just talking my talk right now. Cause once I get into it, it's gonna be over. It's wham bam. Thank you, man. I'm out. You brought your? Cookie? I got my own. Guards on there. You want me to cut your hand? No, I'm cold, bro. I'm telling you, I'm like a barber, bro. I'm like a barber, bro. Oh, for real. That CBD oil works well. Yeah, I keep that with me in the car. See, CBD, you can have CBD anywhere. You can have CBD marijuana. You can have CBD oil. You better not have no other kind of oil. I can tell you that right there until the night. You better only have CBD oil that you get from a licensed person. CBD. Okay. No, 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 no. My word for them is junkie. He's a fucking junkie. Okay? And that's my opinion. Fucking junkie. Not the most high. You just trying to be the most high, dog. You just high, dog. Shit. Bus life strain? Yeah, man, I want to work with a dispensary, man. Get me an old bus life strain, man. I need to call Al, man. Al, this a boom, dog. Bus life strain. They love me, bro. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? All I need is 90,000%. Nice. No, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Give me that. We, we'll take a 60 40 split. I take 40. You take 60. You show, you know, you you distributing the thing. You getting it to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take the most. Just use my name, bro. To my, oh, I buy that swagger dad with the equipment. Parma Brown going to give you your birthday licks. What the? Who going to give you your birthday licks? What the fuck? Oh, Lord. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> well, right now, it's a bid war for that. Now, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm playing. Uh, Carcino cost you millions. No good advice. Jeez. Oh, so Carcino is God. So I thought the old ad is, you must be Lucifer games and reps. You are Lucifer, young man or young lady. 
You know why? Because what God got for someone, you devil, no man can take it away. Now you go back with your ideology and you go here, there, away from here, you devil. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded like some medieval, medieval shit I was supposed to say. Yeah, they go hit their forth away from here. Nigga. Damn devil. <laughs> Y'all got me clowning, man. Y'all got me clowning early this morning. <laughs> early this doggone morning. Y'all acting like this, yeah. KB, my friend, co-worker, owns six hookah bars. Do you think we might can do a deal? What you want to do a deal with? Yes, we could definitely do a deal. Hell to yes. Tell me what you're thinking. Hell yeah, I might check my email now. <laughs> I get so many goddamn, uh, I get so many so flies in there uh, emailing me their love letters and shit. They be messing, making me not even want to check the email. But if you go email me, I'm definitely going to check my email today. <laughs> I don't want to read no goddamn love letters now. Please. Please, please. <laughs> I'm going to give you a fit to your beat that hit. I'm just saying, yeah, shh, shh, shh. Tell it on me. I bet it wasn't Shirley while we were on your birthday. <laughs> Hey, look here. I don't know what y'all people talk about. <laughs> hey, this chat lit, but this chat, all, all one of y'all lit. There's still one person in my chat by my screen. Let me make sure I take a picture of this shit so I can, and if people don't think I'm crazy. There's only one person in my chat. All one of us lit over here, boy. I'm talking about man. Oh, and that's blurry. Okay. Chico, they're going to zoom in my shadow and they're going to see you in the background. They're going to say, he in there with a man. <laughs> oh, oh, what'd you say? Zoom. Here we are, all alone. Yeah, I gotta put that phone down. And those witchcraft letters. Oh man, I'm trying to tell you. So it's like, man, they force you to be. They forcing me to be like a bad businessman. I don't want to read all that. And you, my soul lover, letter, and you gonna die if you ain't with me, and all this other shit. I don't want to hear no devilish stuff like that. And then I don't want to hear no big block grieving over the page. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute let me say that different i don't want to offend nobody i want to be politically correct i don't want to hear no big bone woman breathing hard over the page and shit as i read it i could hear how hard she breathing and shit and scared me and shit stomping i can hear the stumps so yeah uh -uh. so yeah i don't want to believe that shit so if you're gonna email me though you can email me at buslifebiz at gmail.com. One of my moderators, please. <laughs> One of my moderators, put the email in the chat, please. I will definitely get my email checked today. Please put it in the chat. You know, so I'm just saying what I go through. I know some of you don't care, but I, I go through, you know. Kwame, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. I woke up like this. I'm just saying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did that say right there? Oh. What did it say? Bro, you yeah, somebody. Never mind. I can't tell YouTube nothing. Let me not say nothing to YouTube. Hey, hey, brother. I'm in the middle of something. I'll call you back as soon as I finish. Okay. Yeah, man. You know, you make them sweat. You make them wait. 
Yeah, you gotta make them wait. Scarcity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man, I hear a big bony motherfucker breathing hard all over the page. You know, you want me. I don't even know why you be flirting with the other bitch. 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 All right, right. Man, you should hear some of the things she done said about my kids, about me, my baby mama, every all kind of stuff. This girl here, she just talked foul out the mouth. I could just make people laugh without being too harsh, though. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Tell my boy log off. <laughs> let me let me get to the damn story then. Since y'all don't want to got they laugh a little bit. I thought y'all wanted to laugh a little bit, but see, I see how y'all are. I see how y'all are. Y'all are uptight this morning. I get it. Since y'all want to be uptight this morning, I'm just gonna go ahead and just tell you about Chris Brown. Now, how about that? That's that's all I'm gonna do. Shit. Y'all mean ass. I can't even do what I want to do. <laughs> that's big. <laughs> I told him about her leave me alone, man. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I thought y'all was off today. You know what I mean? I thought y'all was off today. Uh, you know what I mean? A lot of people have this day off. You know what I mean? It's after a holiday. So I just, you know, I assume that people had off. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't know. Kwame stopped being so charming. Oh, I, I don't know how. I just, I don't know. But you better, I tell you what, stop being so beautiful then. That's like me asking you, stop being so doggone beautiful. Now, Sunshine Spiller, you know I can't stop being charming because you can't stop being beautiful. You fine emoji, you. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna be like stay drunk, texting emoji all night. I love you. Yeah, I, will you leave your wife? Yeah, I'll leave my wife for you. Yeah, just show your face. <laughs> well, well, come on camera, they look like twins. They talk about computer love. <laughs> Oh man, computer love. Uh, let's see. You sent. Oh, oh wait, hey, hi, peace up, peace to you too, Marta, 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 Ma. Peace to you. You got your tongue out. I see. Huh? You sent no notifications. It doesn't even say you live there unless you click on your profile pic. Wow, I told you to say one person over here. Man, let me go on Instagram and say, hey, we're live over on Bus Life. Please come. YouTube is some hating, punk. Great place. <laughs> hey. Oh. That'd be my, my baby girl. Holy shit. Man, I'm gonna have to chop my door and leave off. She done got taller since last week. Jesus Christ, she ain't stop growing. Look at this job. Hold on. Dog, she look about 12 now. Yeah. She's not, she's not oh, that's too damn tall, boy. You think it's been that long? She not, she not that age. She just look like that. She damn near tall as a mama. How in the heck is this little girl keep growing this fast? Lord have mercy. I'm gonna tell her she's gonna have to identify as a boy. 
Nej, hvis du... Hvis du er nogen fæve. Ja. That is crazy. I just, I just left there like seven days ago. This joke is you look like she taller in seven fucking days. <laughs> you talking about nigga? You seven foot? <laughs> nah, but all my kids ain't this damn tall. But her mama tall too. Her mama five ten. So when you got a tall mom and you got a tall dad, mama five ten. So there ain't nothing stopping her from going. It's like God. I said, boy, she down there looking at her mama eye to eye. Shit. Nah, she don't need to be my height. She hell no. How many niggas want a seven foot woman? And she gonna do it, bring a little old short nigga to the house. He gonna be smiling like he climbing trees. I'm gonna slap the hell out of him. <laughs> yeah, I'm with your daughter. What? Uh oh, Lady Shake put up in the same height as you. You seven, you six, you five ten too. Uh oh, exactly. it's about big, big Shirley. She better not be no goddamn big, big Shirley. She she skinny as a bean boy right now. Huh? Your son five ten one eighty two. Well, that boy got that on fat. I know he ain't fat, but you fat. He gonna be. He gonna look like your blubberish looking ass. You he gonna get blubber fire like you? He too much. This is this is age. That ain't got nothing to do with age, age and inactivity. Yeah. yeah. No, that's called marriage. Soon as you got married, it fucked your life up. Yeah, it fucked you. Hey, why how y'all why y'all niggas do that when y'all get married? Do it. Is it that your I'm just saying, is it that your wife make you try to look like you ain't supposed to be on the market? Yeah. That was it. Don't let you go outside and shit. Yeah. Do you feel like getting, when you was married, did you feel like getting up in the morning? Tackling the day? Yeah, because it, it made me want to get away from her. <laughs> Talk about it. Roll over, roll over. Oh, everybody <laughs> Oh, so you was more motivated with a wife to get the hell out of the house? Yeah. Oh, so you lazy without a wife now? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. So you need to get you want them niggas need to get married to get have a woman kick you in the ass. Oh shit! He wants some in house what? Uh, you misogynistic trophy nigga. What, uh, what's all the words they say? Me. Oh. Look at Kwame. Are you jealous? He suck suck at what the what the what the what the, what the, what the, what the Kwame, YouTube won't show you live until I click your profile. Yeah, man, YouTube be hating, man. But it's all good, man. You already know what's up. Yeah, you already know what's up, man. No fly is six. She's six eight. Man, that woman can't be no six eight. <laughs> man, that man, no, no, she can't be no six eight. <laughs> I don't even want to say her name no more. <laughs> oh no. 5'11? 400 pounds? Son of a biscuit. Man, y'all lying, man. Come on, man. Oh, he playing tag again? <laughs> hey, look here. Hey, Chico. Would you would you be tagging? This, like, I don't understand these dudes. Like, these niggas getting flewed out by other niggas. And then tagging. Oh, oh, no, I, let me finish. Let me finish all the way. Let me finish all the way. Then you got to make a fair assessment. These niggas getting flewed out by other niggas. And then tagging another nigga. About getting them getting flued out by a nigga. Like, what does that have to do with me? I'm 
Me either. Uh, I'm telling them they're going about their business, man. Just, you know, be great, man. I salute I salute all your positive motions. Salute to you. God bless you guys. You know? May peace be upon all of you. Happiness comes to you, all of you home. Flying out your kids or something, family, you know. Yeah. Uh, flying out your home. Yeah, yeah man. It may seem like there's your booze. You know, don't, don't, don't tell me any more about your endeavors. May peace be upon you. Much success on your journey. God bless you. You know. Damn. This nigga crazy or something, man. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Oh, yeah. It's going to get warm. Mm -hmm. I'm going out day. I'm going out day. Trust me. And then my homeboy Robert already been talking about it. I told him. I've I'm already been telling him. You ain't sh You ain't going to catch nothing. No one I'm going to get whipped. That Negro can catch them bad. Boy. I know I'm going to get whipped, but I'm talking like I'm going to win. So I'm going to got that man. Is it? Yeah, damn right. Give me some home. Huh? That one don't talk about shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. And he the one got to drive the boat, so I'm going to be on them beers. Yeah, I'm going to be on beers by then. Oh, uh, you ain't no damn bass master. You a pole thief. That's what he is. Because of the fucking pole thief. I'm dead now. This off subject. I was just getting ready to hit the Chris Brown button, but that just pissed me off right there. No. I, listen, the damn turtle broke my line in chasing the fish off. I'm finna get the big old bass that was over there. So I ran. I said, oh, shit. I said, I had to fix my pole real quick. No, it, it snapped my dang on line. So I had to go run back to the truck to fix my little line real quick. So as I'm he laughing now, old punk mother. But anyway, as I'm going to fix my line, he go get a pole that he done fixed up. And he talking about, where you said the bass was at? I said, right there in the corner. I said, hey, hey, hold on. Don't mess with my bag. He threw it right over there. Soon as he threw it in there, the bag, huh? Because the turtle left. He snatched the turtle right over. I mean, he snatched the bass right up out the water. It was the biggest fish in the whole day. I was mad. I was so got doggone mad. Boy, that was my cousin the whole ride back. I couldn't stand him the whole ride. I'm thinking about spurling him the whole time. Because I wanted to show off with my trophy. I couldn't do it. So I had to boot up, take a picture of the bucket, and a lot of them niggas to say it was mine. And then I told him, y'all think I caught that shit, y'all crazy. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, you a hater, man. You ain't nothing but a hater, man. That nigga is a hater, man. He seen that turtle snap the line. He come, he come his ass right behind me. That's like, I, I now I see why them ladies and stuff be mad at the, uh, uh, everybody get mad at the slot machine. Mm -hmm. And they trying to go get some old change or something real quick so they can play the slot. You come right behind him and hit. Man, they be ready to kill a bubba. They tune that slot machine up all day. Yeah, man, you, you that's messed up. Hey, we got uh, they got that weak game, nigga, nigga, right here. I don't know, man. Like, who wants to listen to that man? Who wants to listen to this man talk, man? But then he ain't here. Who I don't know, man. I'm gonna just keep saying Billy Graham, man. I'm so busy now. He helped me get a job, man. These other drunk niggas ain't helped me do nothing, no man. But I hate the guy who helped me because I just don't know how to express my gratitude and just say thank you and move on, man. So now I hate him, man. I don't understand it, man. I don't know why I hate him, man. Why am I listening to the nigga that just high? I don't get it, man. <laughs> He's sitting up there. Now you've been reduced down to listening to talking about my penis and all kind of stuff. Wow. This dude sits on panels with chicks talking about my penis and who I'm sleeping with and all this other stuff. He engaged in those type of conversations. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just want to hear, man. I want to hear your voice, man. <laughs> Shit, he ain't getting none of my energy. I just make people laugh at his stupidity. Yeah, I just see me. You, I don't, energy never stops. So if I give it, I'm gonna receive it. So you can't stop energy. So I would rather give a little funny energy instead of that bullshit energy these niggas be giving. Shit, I take they negative and turn it into a positive. <laughs> 
because they brought their bullshit energy over here. And I don't let it turn me sour, so I switch it on they bitch ass and make it funny. You know, that's how I like to look at it. Hold on, let me blow my nose, y'all. Let me pause it. Let me pause this for a second. Oh, had to get that out. Want you some pumpkin seed? Snotty nose, old man. Yeah, I used to be on once a day Claritin until I started taking these vitamins. I live in a state where there's a lot of pollen. And I don't know if you guys know about South Georgia, but there's a lot of pollen. So, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. They gonna say you, you blowing something out of their nose? Well, I got a shirt on my Instagram. Not my Instagram. I think it's on my Instagram, and it might be on my Facebook. They say, fuck what they say. Motherfuckers gonna say whatever they gonna say. They gotta have something to say. <laughs> they not interesting. <laughs> but let me present y'all this case for Chris Brown and what he was trying to say. I know, bro. I don't understand. It's only showing me that one person is in here. Yeah, this is the three LW chick. This is the chick that just went viral for saying she just had a threesome with uh, three of the four B2K members. So it's not like she's a savory individual, but nevertheless, she's talking, keeping her name in the news. You know, but y'all, you got some of you guys don't understand how some of these people think. They don't care who they tear down. They don't care who they disrespect. They don't have the same energy for the cause. They're not really down for the cause. Most of them just ride waves and they know what's catchy and what's popular. And what we don't understand is that a black man, our name is always catchy and popular, especially for the wrong thing. And that's why they make us so infamous and famous for all of the wrong reasons. When the white counterparts do the same exact thing, they don't make them accountable for everything they do in their entire life. You just saw that... Uh, Matter of fact, I might need to see if I can get his daughter on my show. Um, you just saw that Carl Malone was in the news and that Carl Malone um, was was told to the, the NBA brought Carl Malone because it was in Utah and he's a legend in Utah. Otherwise, Carl Malone kept his head low because he understands how the media does. They never let your pass go. And he did some bullshit stuff. He uh, had sex with a young lady when she was about 13. And that's how they had uh, his first son that played NFL football. And then Cheryl Ford is his daughter, mm -hmm. which uh, I think they had another kid. Or maybe that was a different woman. As a matter of fact, that's not the same mother. I, I, I take that back. They don't have the same mother. Her brother is from another lady. But apparently the lady was 13 years old and he was 20. But... We're supposed to be living in a Christian nation and people are supposed to be forgiven. And if we're going to condemn this man for this long, they don't do it to these white these white counterparts. And Chris Brown with this argument with this lady named Keeley, and I'm definitely in no way, shape, or form endorsing what he did. Absolutely not. He was dead ass wrong. And if, he, if they, they knew about this the whole time he played in Utah. 
so they don't bring him to justice. They let him play his entire NBA career, and then you're gonna keep punishing him after the fact. Why are we not punishing the people that knew about it and let them play uh, NBA basketball the whole time? They pick and choose. And and now it's like they didn't even reach out to the family to see how the son is receiving that. Like he has to hear this now. And I, I think they made amends. Uh, even Cheryl has made amends with him now. And he's just trying to right his wrongs. Uh, people don't live perfect lives, but we have grown children now. Somebody said he, he R-worded Cheryl Ford's mama and denied he was the father. He definitely denied he was the father. I had conversations with Cheryl about that. And uh, I don't want to put her on the spot. I should have called her and see her. If she... I had to put it on mute because Cheryl crazy. And nah. she off work. I ain't going to put it on the spot. I would never do nothing like that. I'm going to put it on mute. Matter of fact, I'm going to ask her another time when she come on and see if we can do it like that. I ain't talked to her in a minute anyway. Let me see something. Hold on. Oh, damn, my speakerphone on this phone suck. Can y'all hear? Say something, sure. Can y'all hear? Can you see my speakerphone suck, right? Hold on, I'm going to call you from another phone, okay? I'm going to call you from somebody else's phone and then delete your number. All right. That shit too low for me. So Cheryl, she's a little bit under the weather, so she sound like Earl. She sound like a brother. <laughs> she said, she said, well, it's a rough weekend for me. You out there. I said, you out there tied it up. So she sound like Earl. All right, now this uh, Chico phone, I don't want y'all thotting it up behind the scene now. Tell me to my face. What's up? What's up, Cheryl? Hi. <laughs> hey, I, I told them why you sound like that. I told everybody you've been thotting it up out there in uh, Utah, Salt Lake City, because it was all-star break. That what you've been out there doing? I was not thotting it up first off. I was out there with my family and my daughter, Kwame. So it was no thotting up nothing. I'm not a thot. I'm not assuming anything. I just was, you know, asking well, a question. That's not why my voice sound like that. It's been a it's been a long three days. We landed at one thirty last night. So. Oh, so what are some of the activities that you were doing out there with your pops? We, what well, activities we did? A whole bunch of legend autograph stuff, the legend brunch. 
Um, he had a family day with all his kids, all his grandkids. So we went tubing and stuff like that. So yeah, we had a casino night to raise money for water for the kids over in, uh, in the Philippines. You know, we're trying to get running water over there to um, one of the villages. His wife's mom was Filipino, so her village was trying to get running water. That's all they would like, and that's what we had a casino night for. And um, we had a Legends party for Charles Barkley lunching his um, vodka and stuff. So it's hey, Cheryl, been- somebody named the Independent say, hey, Cheryl, we miss you in Detroit. Detroit basketball. Tell them, hey, actually, we'll be back uh, March the 8th through the 10th. They're actually honoring. Oh, so you're going to be in Detroit for my birthday? They're actually honoring us um, on the 9th of March in Detroit for 20 years winning our first championship. So I'll be out there next next uh, month. Oh, I might have to come there for my birthday. Boy, what else? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so listen, I'm talking about the Chris Brown situation, and then you and he, Chris Brown brought up an interesting point about the hypocrisy in the media of how he keeps getting bashed for the same thing over and over that he did as a 17 year old kid, even after him and Rihanna made a song together, Ain't Nobody's Business, even after they got back together, it's the fans and the people want to keep. Uh, bringing this up because they can get some clicks and views. But he showed that they don't do that to Mel Gibson and Sean Penn and all of these other white uh, actresses. Uh, But then your father's name came up uh, on Twitter and all these things. And I was telling people how you guys have moved on from that. You and your brother have a better relationship with him. Can you kind of tell your feelings about the situation? I'm just like, like Chris Brown and Rihanna said, first off, it ain't nobody business. Like, everybody has moved on. That son was actually with us in um, Utah this weekend. Uh, That was brought up and everything. It's just that everybody has moved on. That was 40 years ago. Nobody is perfect. Um, And we see on, on the thing all the time, people attacking us all the time. We got kids that are young now and seven, eight, nine, one of his oldest, which was with us this weekend, is 12, almost 13. This stuff keeps coming up, keeps coming up, and, and we have kids. He has grandkids that's, that's old enough to understand and comprehend. Um, Like we said, everybody has moved on. That was 40 years ago. He made a mistake. His son is not a mistake. He loved his son. But everybody has moved on. Leave a past where it's at. People attack me all the time. I have got over 2,000 uh, friend requests on Instagram this past weekend, I guess because this mess has resurfaced again. And I'm just not going to accept anybody because why? Like, everybody moved on. If they want to continue to uh, get their nuts off, so to speak, about that part of the thing, let them. Because they attack me and say, you keep your daughter away from him. He like, no, he does do not. I, have, I do not worry about my daughter being around my dad. Nobody does. Everybody has moved on. Leave the past where it's at. Period. Mm-hmm. Do, do you feel like they don't ever let black men specifically move on from the things they've done? No, ain't nobody harping on all the stuff the white men have done. It's a plenty of celebrity white men out here that has made mistakes in their life too. But oh, we're going to talk about that for a few months and we'll move on but why every time dad is on like the big stage so to speak or being uh honor for something this this has to be resurfaced like mm-hmm. it was 40 years ago move on people right and and i understand that because you don't want your granddaughter you don't want all the grandkids to know him of that they want to be able to enjoy the good side of being the mailman you know the and good parts of it they all love their papa to death. We all, all his kids love it. Love his, uh, love him to death. Everybody has moved on. We had a great weekend in Utah, and we're gonna continue to have great family um, trips and times together, and making memories, positive, good memories. Don't nobody want to keep here dwelling on what happened in the past. I that, mean, if. If that, that, we keep dwelling in the past, we everybody gonna be stuck in the past and be miserable. Life's too short for that. Yeah, 
He said uh, that they don't talk about Elvis in, in his past with underage girls. He's, he's known for being the king of rock, not for being with underage girls or, or anything like that. So I do think it's a difference, but. They always want to continue to tear the black men down. It's been their way for years. Well, And we're going to stick by him. We're going to support him. We're going to love him. And we don't give a damn what nobody else say or think. Mm -hmm. This is our life, lives, not y'all's. Like, y'all can keep being miserable. We're happy. We're very happy. Everybody's in a great space over here. Okay. When, when you and start me them pictures of you out there fishing with that fresh water and that fresh fish, I know you got doggone healthy eating stuff like that. Who? That fish that y'all was out there getting that fresh fish that time. Oh, we, yeah, we go to Alaska every year and that's another one of our family things that we do every year. So we're okay. We're good over here. Y'all can continue to be miserable and play and talk and bully people from behind the internet. We're good. Everybody is good over here. Okay. It ain't your business. Just like Chris right. Brown and Rihanna said, but see those type of celebrities have to be controlled by the people. And that's sad because to me, they really wanted to be together. Um, they didn't talk about Dana White when Dana White slapped his wife like three times in the face, slapped her to the ground and then picked her back up. Um, but they, they always bring up Chris Brown. Uh, they say when, when, when they saw that Dana White hit his wife, they said, well, his wife hit him first. And, and when Rihanna did that interview, Rihanna alluded to the fact that she may have hit Chris Brown first. And I'm, I'm still not giving him a pass to do what he did. But if you're going to give a pass to Dana White saying that uh, his wife hit him first, then what's, what's the difference? Let's be honest. That's what it seems like. Yeah. So, in my opinion, the color. So. Yeah. Jerry Jones, when they, they saw him on the steps, looking like he was helping, uh, like with, with an angry mob, stopping those black kids from getting into the school. Stephen A. came out and said, oh, Jerry Jones is my friend. He don't deserve to be talked about like that. <laughs> like, this is all they do. Yeah. But so, I know you got to get to Cam. Cam, how's she doing? She's good. I, she's right here doing homework. We're, we're off today, so she's um, doing homework. She about tall as you yet? Almost. She almost, my baby will be, she'll be nine at the end of March, so. Dang, it's been that long? Yes, she will be nine at the end of March. I'm getting old. We are getting old. No, 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 no. I'm getting old the good way, though. I'm getting old like fine wine. How old you get? Uh, I am getting old. Hey, black don't crack. I'll say that. I'll be 42 in June. But you getting that, you getting that, you ain't getting that fine wine old, is you? Yes, I am. No, you getting that hip messed up old. That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just would do a squat. See, I already know. I ain't trying to get that hip messed up old. But I can't do no squats. My knees hurt too bad. So See, that's what I'm saying. You, boy, you bought out of the game. <laughs> I, I, I've been out the game. What are you talking about? No, nah, you ain't all the way out the game yet. I see the pictures, but. If your knees out, if they blow, if your knees blown out, you you bout out the game now. You, you must take yeah, you out the pass. Yeah, tell my Detroit fans we'll be back in March. All right. Well, shoot, I might have to go to the casino up there. Everything on you? On you? No, every, this is gonna be my birthday weekend. It, it's gonna be my birthday month. Everything on you? I ain't coming unless everything on you. I've already got to get my ticket. Yeah. No damn yeah, I'm going to drive, but I'm going to tell you I got a ticket so you can think I paid for something. <laughs> <laughs> but everything on you. I, I, done, I done took care of your birthday before, so everything on you when I get there. I got you, Cormier. I got you. Bet. Stay left. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll hit you back. Right. Yep. Right. I don't know how to hang up. Look on that. It got a black screen. Yeah, see, that's why I ain't know none of you niggas. <laughs> oh, yeah, you new guys. I don't be. How come you ain't got no friends? I got a lot of friends. <laughs> ain't none of them you new guys. <laughs> Kwame want to be flued out. Oh, no, I can get there. I'm grown. I get there now. Yeah, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there like a man. And I'm going to leave like a man. Yeah, I'm going to get there. She just know I'm going to drive. <laughs> I bet you that. I'm going to drive. Uh-uh. 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 When I want to go, so when I want to leave, now that I learned the best, one of the best things to do is when you want to leave somewhere, I always have you something to get you where you want to go. 
I ain't got no plane, so shit. <laughs> I got me a truck. <laughs> we can get the camera and get the hell on. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm eating my pumpkin seeds, just chilling. Miss J, what you mean? <clears throat> what you mean I'm stupid? <laughs> what? Y'all think I be playing. I'm like this for real in real life. No, me, I used to take, man, Cheryl's birthday, she'll come over. Hey, look here. I want this. I want this for my birthday. You gonna get it. Don't say that to me. I used to be like, boy, you got this. This girl crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, it's my turn. Yeah, everything on you. Mm -hmm. Equality. <laughs> boy, I love equality. Hell yeah. <laughs> no go for me. I'm one of them dog niggas. Look at Derek say, I'm one of them. Yeah, these niggas be proud that they can call a bunch of niggas. <laughs> mm. Kwame, can you drive a truck for miles? Shit, that, but that's all I know, boy. <sighs> I'm going to Kansas City. Still think can't be crazy. I'm just saying. I told these niggas who I used to be. I'm sorry. But I'm a, that's my people, man. She good she good people. We met her at an event. A charity event. She's always doing charity work. Mm-hmm. The getaway truck. No, nah, it's just when I'm ready to go, something ain't right. You know, I'm out. You know. You niggas gotta catch an Uber. You niggas gotta wait on some some people you checked in with. You niggas gotta wait on a girl. You niggas gotta goddamn phone a taxi. Uh, then you gotta go to the airport. Sometimes you're not afforded all that time. You know, I like this. <laughs> when I'm goddamn ready to go, I'm ready to go. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Mm. Why don't you get a show so you can talk about that punk? My show is about Keely Williams attacking Chris Brown. And I'm ad living right now because people are having a good time. Now, your mad, fake, wavy head, scared of your face, and the best thing about you, you think is the top of your dumb ass head. And I hope you go bald one day, you little dummy. This motherfucker won't even show his face as a picture. He's showing his ways. Chain gang mindset, dummy. Look at this motherfucker showing waves in his head as as his profile pictures. <laughs> my mama taught me to keep my head up, boy. A coward like you walking with his head down. Now leave me be, boy. I ain't bothering you. Shit, leave me be, man. Yeah, man. Damn, man. Why are black people always the one fucking with you? Man, one of you white boys start fucking with me. I need a white adversary. I need somebody white to just keep antagonizing me like one of these niggas. Please, please show me the racism in this world. I want one of them redneck race. See, redneck white people usually the coolest motherfuckers. We usually get along. I usually keep their space and distance. They uh, and I, they usually keep their space and distance. I keep mine. They usually say what's up, salute to you. When we find a common ground about some football or shit, we'll agree, we'll toast up from across the bar, and it's always cool. Shit. Yeah, it's always cool. But it's always a nigga chasing me around, arguing with me, y'all. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? If you don't like what I'm doing, nigga, log off. How many other channels is it out here? How many got there? Where this nigga from? This nigga from Baltimore? Man, people in Baltimore are cool as hell, man. I think, I'm I'm not sure this nigga from Baltimore. I was just in Baltimore. I was just in Baltimore at Bar One. Su salute to Peter. Salute to Bar One. Salute to all the beautiful staff. And uh, I'm only talking to the lady staff. I ain't seen too many guys. I don't know nothing about no beautiful men anyway, but the beautiful women bartenders that I saw salute to y'all for working hard and looking like you look at work yeah 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 I was just there and them people all the people in there was cool dude 
saluted me when we walked in. Everybody was cool. So I ain't never seen no Baltimore dude just be hating on nobody now. They usually smash niggas that they have beef with, real beef, but they don't just go out their way to find you to hate on you. I ain't, that ain't no Baltimore stuff. That, this nigga here weird. He a defecto Baltimore nigga. If he was paying attention, he would have learned how to talk to a woman. <laughs> no, he trying to talk to a man all the time. <laughs> this nigga here weird over there. <laughs> yeah, this nigga weird. He would have learned how to talk to a man. These niggas bragging and slapping hands about getting flued out to by the same dude. <laughs> Shit, I don't want to know none of these niggas. <laughs> these niggas always try to get in my mix. These <laughs> niggas always ask you how and why. And nigga don't ask why, nigga. Just do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look, bro, you cool, bro. I can help, bro. <laughs> yeah, we don't claim we game in the city. I'm telling you, you a Baltimore dude too? Gotta be, man. Baltimore dudes usually cool. <laughs> They'll whip your ass. You bother them. Most of them niggas can box and everything else, but they ain't just going out their way to bother nobody. They take you bothering them too serious. I ain't never seen a Baltimore nigga just hate. He's just he 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 a weirdo dude. Yeah, he a weirdo dude. Yeah, every Baltimore nigga I know is cool. As long as you cool with them, they cool with you. Yeah, you want to goddamn keep running your mouth now? The, the shoulder roll, they're coming out. <laughs> them niggas can fight. But other than that, I always have a good time. I mind my goddamn business. I say what's up. And I salute to you. And shit, you got to go out your way to start some shit with me. I'm too cool. I'm too laid back. The fuck we going to have a problem for, nigga? I come in here to chill and enjoy. I ain't even coming here for you. <laughs> I'm in my trolling, nigga, one time. <laughs> I was at the bowling alley. Nigga, arguing and shit. Man. I said, look, bro, I ain't even coming here for you, man. <laughs> Damn. What's wrong with you, nigga? You see all them girls over there? You just be messing up the fun. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I ain't having no fun, man. So I'm going to get to your fun, man. I'm going to bother you, man. <laughs> you going to beat up this live? <laughs> oh, bro. But hold on, man. Let me share this screen real quick. Now I'm going to have to show the other part of this Chris Brown thing. Because this Chris Brown thing is not very long. But I was able to stretch this thing for an hour and have fun and entertain. So, hey. So, hey, look at me. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably look at the comments from my phone. Or read it from my phone, maybe. No, because y'all want to see it bigger. All right, so hold on. Let me full screen try. All right, and let me go to my YouTube. And let me display with. Whoa, it's still saying we waiting. Yo, hold up, man. This shit still said up and coming, bro. Yo, man, when YouTube hating, look how the, look how they do you. Oh, I gotta post this on my community wall. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, YouTube. Jesus Christ, nigga, tell my I ain't shadow man. Wow. Wow. This is dirty. This is some dirty stuff here, buddy. It's a dirty business, YouTube. I'm typing. I'm typing. Everybody, 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 everybody
No, you got to type them and then they act like they ain't know what the hell going on. Or just try again. If you have a complaint, call your mama. <laughs> the motherfuckers ain't shit, boy. I'm talking about, man. Jesus H. Christ, boy. These people play dirty. I'm going to post this on Instagram, too. Dirty. Some of them. Mm, they don't want you to be great when you're by yourself. You got to sign on to all these groups. And when you sign on to all these groups, they let you shine like brand new money. But if you don't shine on to those groups, I'm starting to understand why they created this algorithm thing. Because whether you good or not, they can place you in it or out of it. That's why you can take a bum ass channel and make it a number one channel by just keep sending it to someone's feed so much that they finger fuck around and click on it. This algorithm shit, so they can control this shit, in my opinion. Some of Mm-mm-mm. Let me share that with Instagram. Hashtag hate. <laughs> yeah, hashtag hate. Some bitches. That's okay. That's okay. Chris Brown has gone off on Instagram to call out the rapper Blueface and the alleged white artist that dated underage women. According to Chris Brown, oh, according to Brown, they also beat their wives and give them AIDS. Oh, Lord have mercy. Who gave, who gave, who gave their wife the, that ooh-wee? Jesus. Chris Brown, I hope you got a good attorney if any of this stuff ain't true. But uh, I'm just saying, I mean, I think some of this stuff, some people saying some of the stuff he said has been proven. Now, I don't know who gave nobody no AIDS or nothing like that. Lord have mercy. And I don't want nothing to do with these comments. I'm just re Oh, somebody put in the chat, say Charlie Sheen. Oh, yeah. Charlie Sheen oh, gave yeah. somebody? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's funny. Not that, Charlie Sheen, man? Yeah. How the hell that public now? Going on. He ain't in jail. That's, that's known for, for How the hell Charlie Sheen gave a girl that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. Charlie Sheen, Charlie Sheen. How is he not in jail? Oh, Charlie Sheen is dead? They say Charlie Sheen dead. Man, I didn't know I didn't know he did any of this. They said Charlie Sheen was handing out that package. No, he not dead. Oh my goodness! So then, Chris Brown might be right. Yeah. So a white man can give out that package. Hold on, man. So he said, "I'm trying to read like a young lady named Love Lace. She got a beautiful voice and all that. Uh, her reading is off the chain. How she changed and all that. So you know what I'm saying? I'm drinking this water, trying to make sure I don't get cotton mouth, so I can read like her. She be getting that deep voice that she do." <laughs> she told me I can come get those kids. Oh, she come get the kids? She bet, she bet not get my kids away. She she Love Lace, you gonna get the babies away? You ready to get back out there on them streets, ain't it? I knew it. That's how I found that in the club. <laughs> yeah, I found Love Lace in the club. She took off that teacher outfit, that teacher glasses on and all that. She came in that 
I'm gonna tell you how we met. She came in there with them teacher glasses on. And she came in there looking all good and glowing and stuff, trying to sound all proper. I said, Oh, mm-hmm. I said, Oh yeah, I know. She when she proper in the daytime. Yeah. At nighttime, she proper too. So I said, Oh yeah, I got the this is the one I like. So we talked all night. You know, I read a couple of books and stuff, and I was repeating what was in the books, and she thought I was smart, and I got her. That's how I got her. That's how I got her. She'll tell you. Mm-hmm. She'll tell you. That's how we got Shriam. One, two, Shriam. <laughs> she talking about turn up. Hey, them niggas gonna be playing that back. See, I told y'all. The most high sent this to me. The most high, y'all. The most high told me. He got, hey, they go to 12 kids, y'all. The most high told me. It ain't the most high, dog. You just high. <laughs> it, ain't the, it ain't the most high, dog. You just high. This is called entertainment. <laughs> niggas trying to hang on to every goddamn thing I'm saying. When my channel i'm entertaining it is a part of it is entertaining <laughs> dumb dry punks talk about chico dude talk about better put him in the after school program <laughs> and you're gonna have to pay for that yeah you have to pay for that all right but according to brown they also beat their wives and gave others aids he posted image, uh, images of celebrities, including Sean Penn, Emma Roberts. So the Emma Roberts beat somebody too? What the hell Emma Roberts do? Hold on, I got to Google some of this shit Chris Brown talking about. Chris Brown going in, boy. God damn, who is Emma Roberts? Hey, chat, did Emma Roberts beat somebody too? Twice? Hey man, look up Emma Roberts real quick. E M M A Roberts. Cause I'm in the chat. Oh, you looking in the damn chat too? She beat dude from the Del Mar movie. Damn. So she a beat her too. So. Uh, Nicholas Cage, Ozzy Osbourne, and more. Ozzy Osbourne. Hold up, hold up, big hold up, and more. Let me get the more. Let me see. What are all the goddamn? Let me see. I happen to get to the more of this shit. Yeah. Let me see what the hell. Yeah, Robert, she was arrested for domestic assault. Jeffrey Dahmer movie. So the guy that was in the Jeffrey Dahmer movie got beat up. So hold up, let me see how many white people he talking about. Cause this is some of the stuff I be talking about online. So this Chris Brown thing that went viral may help my narrative cause it ain't a narrative, it's the damn truth. So he said, oh, Mel Gibson, Mel Gibson, Gibson said you gonna get raped R worded by a pack of niggas. Yo, you remember that? Yeah, Mel Gibson got three, four movies out in 2022. But look, he said Mel Gibson, Nicolas Cage. I used to watch his movies. He's still out in movies. Ozzy Osbourne, Tommy Lee, Slash. Who the hell is Slash? Charlie Sheen, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal beat up his girl. They got Steven Seagal flipping people in movies old as hell, fat right now. Ain't he a kung fu expert? So you mean to tell me they are a kung fu expert or a martial arts expert, a person who has practiced martial arts, beat up their woman, and then he's still able to do movies and they still canceling Chris Brown? Slash is the guitar player. Okay. Slash is some sort of guitar player. Charlie Sheen. Steven Seagal, Emma Roberts, Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra beat up somebody. Christian Slater. Who the hell is Christian Slater? Josh Br- Brolin. Josh Brolin. Tom Sizemore. James Can. Can. 
Vince Neal and Mickey Root. Mickey Rookie? Rooney? A rookie? Wow. Wow. Ricky Ro Rookie? Rourke? Ricky Rourke. Cam, Ricky Rourke. Who the hell is Ricky Rourke? Mickey Rourke. Who the hell is Mickey Rourke? He played a lot of movies. He played the movie with uh, Tupac. Um, he played the movie with uh, Iron Man. Who is Vince? Ne you know what? You know what? Hold on. Fuck this shit. We're going to find out who these people is. Hold on. Let's go down to what the lady said, and then we're going to find out who these people is. Mickey Rourke. I don't know who none of these people is. Okay, so former Cheetah Girls member Kelly Williams took to Instagram to share her thoughts on Chris Brown collaborating with Chloe Bailey. Oh, that girl, that fine as a motherfucker. Chloe Bailey, that girl he been the same with. Lord have mercy. That woman, that is beautiful. Yes, Lord. Go, you go, Chris Brown. So she hating because Chris Brown about to be up there with a fine woman like that. And she an old has been that had just had a threesome and got beat down by three men at one time. And why this girl doing good, young, vibrant, and up there with Chris Brown. That's why she mad. Because her other mates, one of the girls, ain't she on, ain't that other girl on the show Power? The other singer. That's the dark-skinned girl that's on the show Power with 50 Cent. Yeah. So your other homegirl doing good, and you out here just having threesomes and talking about Chris Brown. Girl, you gotta close your mouth for real. You know what I mean? You, you had three niggas in the room. Yeah, you really gotta close your mouth and probably a couple other things, but you really gotta close your mouth. You know, you you, you, you gotta you got too much open out there in the public. You just too much open. You need to close it. Just close your mouth, close everything up because you don't have that same energy, ma'am. You don't have that same energy, ma'am. Close it all up. Stop it. Stop it. You at home hating like a mother trucker. Now, Rihanna ain't the one saying all this. It's you. Why? Hey, that man ain't touch you. And I guarantee you a fan of Chris Brown. You For the same reason you ain't out there shouting about Dana White. How come you ain't mentioned nothing about Dana White? Let's, let, did anybody go down this woman timeline since she, for all women... Why she nobody ain't go down her timeline, or is she a racist? She don't care nothing about white women getting beat. Like, is it for all women, or is it just a black woman thing? Like, which one is it, lady? Because you ain't you damn sure ain't talking about uh the man got a slap league right after we seen him slap his wife. You ever heard of some shit like that? The man creates a slap league after. Well, the slap league comes out right after, or it's scheduled to debut the next week or so after we see him on camera slapping his wife out. Nicholas Cage almost took his wife face off. Yeah, damn, he was in the movie face off, but did he really almost take his wife face off? Damn. Shit, that's crazy. So let's, let's listen to the threesome girl. This beacon of light, this beacon of hope if you want to get your rocks off. But let's let's listen to this threesome girl. Uh, let him come out with his own record. So genius, so captivating that it makes us all forget he beats women. Uh, Ma'am, he ought to sue your ass. He hit a woman. Is, is Rihanna two or three people or is she one woman? The last time I checked, women is pure, pure right? That, that The last time I checked, if you so educated, ma'am, then you would understand how that's wrong in that statement. He hit Rihanna. Rihanna is not two people. That is one woman. He doesn't beat woman, women. See, both of those are wrong. He didn't, he's he doesn't beat women. He hit a woman, and he was wrong. He hit a woman and he was wrong. He doesn't beat women. Um, 
let's go back. So so captivating that it makes us forget he beats women, which is a lie. He hit Rihanna. He can't, and that was 17 years ago. He can't, so he won't. So what does he do? He slowly, he slowly creeps back into the mainstream by getting small knives for features on black women's marriage. And you're trying to get small knives and you're going viral right now off of this black man marriage. That's exactly what you're doing. You're trying to keep your name attached to this man's name because he's hot. And you know that this is going to get attention. You know that if you talk about Dana White like this, it's just going to get you backlash. So what do you do? Weekly, you attack a black man, which is a soft target. Which is dead ass wrong. Which you just made me have to roll up some swagger dash and hit it. So I don't call you out your name, Miss Threesome. Oh, that is kind of called you out your name, but not in a different way, Miss Threesome. This is a polite way of calling you what I want to tell you. Yeah, Miss Threesome. Let me hit this because you done got my blood pressure up. Do a black man like this, but you you so quiet for the white man. Why don't you go have a never mind? Williams uh comments didn't go unnoticed by Chris Brown, who shared his thoughts on his uh Instagram story. On his story. If y'all still hate me for a mistake I made at 17 years old, kiss my whole rump roast. Brown shared February 17th, 2023. Hold on, let me pause, take a natural pause to uh study some herbs. Yes, yes, yes. Best show on YouTube. Yes. <sighs> okay. He continued. I'm freaking 33. I'm so tired of y'all running with this narrative. Because it is a narrative. Saying he beats women. That's a narrative. He hit a woman. Which was wrong. You know. Who cut her check? Is, who cut her the check is the question. Exactly. Um, Brown also called out rapper Blueface and his girlfriend, Krishan. The duo has few. <clears throat> oh, I need to hit this. Hold on. Oh, no. Maybe I need to hit water. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. <sighs> the, duo, the duo has fueled speculation of domestic, violence, uh, domestic abuse in the past. You weird blank niggas are the same ones that tune in every week to see Blueface and Krishan beat the freak out of each other in front of the world. Um, okay, now I can see why Blueface made the video he made, but you can't say that Chris Brown is not telling the truth. He might be snitching from his world, but that's a true statement. The world is tuning in uh every week to see somebody get their ass whipped in this domestic abusive relationship call her little miss Minaj. yeah yeah little miss Minaj. you need to chill on out little miss Minaj. close everything up Minaj. we need to have uh what's that lady off love and hip-hop you need to close your legs to instead of married men have a drop where she said close your legs to married men you need to say, close your legs to the group. <laughs> Why did you leave out the fourth member of the group? That's all I want to know. Did he turn you down? Because clearly you was open. I just want to know, did, did the third, did the fourth member of the group turn you down? Or was he sick? Did he take a sick day? Was his leg hurting? Did his girlfriend come in town? Like, why didn't you just go for all of them? I mean, shit, three out of four. Why not five? Why not all four? I mean, what happened? Did you get tired? Did you run out of breath? Did you get dry? I mean, like, you got to tell us now. You want to, you want to, you know, tell the world all this stuff for no reason. Tomorrow, about Mario was like, touch, psych. <laughs> yeah, NeNe Leaks. Uh, NeNe Leaks said, keep your legs closed to the group. Beep. <laughs> you can't just have one, huh? 
<laughs> you can't have one lace. You can't have one nigga. You just can't have one or nothing. You got to have two, three, or all of them. Yes, yes. You got to have two, three, or all of them, huh? You got to have two, three, or all of them. Speak it to that hole. <laughs> Hey, so he said, <laughs> y'all tripping, y'all tripping in this chat. <clears throat> that mouth got tired. That mouth got tired. Oh yeah, I mean she she was busy. She was damn sure busy. I wonder what the third nigga was sitting there doing while two was working over. I mean, what you were doing, nigga? He was busy too, <laughs> working himself. Hey, yo, you niggas weird. Man. Ain't no way in the hell sitting here waiting, playing double dutch for some. Never mind. I guess I'm too grown. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I ain't gonna play double dutch for mine. Uh. -uh. <laughs> no. Shit. Y'all, y'all tripping. But anyway, <laughs> let me give me some more pumpkin seeds. The third dude waiting on his dinner. <laughs> Shit, that ain't dinner after two motherfuckers that been with her, nigga. Them sloppy. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> You weird niggas are the same. <laughs> Only ones tuning in. Oh, I already read that. Christian Rock beat the F out of each other in front of the world. Um, let me slide up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. It's entertainment. He said. Y'all can suck my oh man, goodness gracious. Y'all can suck my dinger disrespectfully. Oh my goodness. Look at all the names. Beat the F out of their wives, getting giving B boars AIDS. That's right. They they are you buddy. They are your buddies. Okay, so beat the F out of their wives, giving B words AIDS. Oh, that's right. They are your buddies. No more fake love from me. Stay out of my way or get ran over. Simple as that. None of you, and I mean none of you, niggas, can bonk with me. Damn, Chris Brown. God, Chris Brown can fight like that? Chris Brown sounds like he got some bad-ass boyfriends or something. That nigga got some niggas around him or something. Yeah, damn. I ain't say none of you, none of you niggas can fight with him. Damn. Okay. Damn. Oh, he a gang member, cuz. Oh, okay. I was about to say. I knew he had some tough niggas around. Let me shut up talking about that nigga before he gang up on me. Shit. I don't know if he ganged up on me. But, um. <laughs> Damn. That nigga sound crazy. Sean Penn has been capped for the needle lately. He wants the uh, unvaccinated ban from society, so I guess he gets a pass. Oh, wow. So Sean Penn wants the unvaccinated ban from society. So what did Sean Penn do so we know why he got the right to speak? What did he do? What did he do to, so did he mess with an underage girl or something? I don't know. I don't know that. How to Google Sean Penn. Oh, he beat Madonna. I remember that. They say Madonna got beat. They had an abusive relationship. A damn crackhead like Hunter Biden. What the? Westbrook traded to the Clippers. Oh, man. That's breaking news. Okay. So the names, Mel Gibson, Nicholas Cage, we saw that. Blueface has since responded. Okay, we ain't getting into all that. 
Yeah, yeah, we ain't get it all that. So let's look up some of these guys. Okay. Let's see if any of these other people have been canceled or anything of that sort. Let's look up these other people. Let's see if they've been canceled. Because this ain't cool. Oh, looks like no. It looks like Mel Gibson is definitely not canceled. So, Mel Gibson, these are all the movies in 2022 from Mel Gibson. 23, 23, I'm sure he got some more movies about to come out. As you guys can see, in 2022, Bandit, uh, On the Line, Panama. He's not hiding in the back of the scene. He's on the front cover. Hot seat. Yeah, so he is definitely not canceled. So it seems like there's a little bit of a difference. Chris Brown has a point. Yeah, this is this is a guy on the front cover that said that this girl was going to get R-worded by a pack of N-words. This is a guy who was, you know, he did what he did. Okay, let's see who else we got. All right, let's see. If Chris Brown is right, then we should see a lot of people canceled. Sean Penn should be canceled. Let's see if Sean Penn is canceled. Let's see. Oh, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like Sean Penn is canceled. Uh, that's 2009. What has Sean Penn done lately? Oh, Sean Penn has a movie in 2022. Hmm. So, Sean Penn is not canceled. Did any of these guys cancel? Any of these people that Chris Brown named, do they still get... Charlie Sheen, I remember he had an abusive relationship with this girl. Um, Y'all remember, right? Charlie Sheen was on Two and a Half Men. And then he was in an abusive relationship. He allegedly beat on his woman. And Ashton Kusher came and took his spot. And then Charlie Sheen was able to come back on the show. How come he wasn't canceled off that show for life? Like they keep doing Chris Brown. I'm just saying, if, if it's all about hitting women and, and keeping the cancel culture alive because all men should be punished for what they do and the punishment is canceled for life, if one mistake like that happened, even if you get hit first, it's canceled for life. So why didn't Charlie Sheen get canceled for life? How was he able to lose his job to Ashton Kusher for what he did and then how was he able to come back on that show two and a half? Somebody said because he's white. I don't think it's just because he's white. I don't see white women doing what this lady Kelly, Kelly Williams did. Kelly, whatever the hell you say her name. I don't see a lot of white women doing this is some black women that I think take money from these corporations or they chase clout and they do things like this and they say women like it's all women when it's one woman. Rihanna is not feeling the same way as this woman. Rihanna has moved on. Rihanna's having her second child, I think. There's nobody like who... 
who's telling these certain black men to, or women to keep talking about black men's past like this? Is it fighting a good fight for all women or is it just making it a black woman issue and saying it like that so you can always highlight the black man? Because they don't seem to care about all these white men that's beating the hell out of women and doing whatever they're doing. How does it, one mistake, keep a black man canceled, but a mistake doesn't keep a white man canceled? I'm just asking, how does the same mistake that keeps black men canceled for life, these white men don't stay canceled? It's like a, a slap on the wrist punishment, and then it's business as usual. If Chris Brown is wrong, how is it that we can see it in real time? Those names, you can Google them and you can remember the stories and you can remember what they did. And you can see these men are still doing movies. These men are still accepted by Hollywood. So how is Chris Brown wrong? How am I wrong when, I, when I've been saying that I thought it was just basketball, but I see now it's all of the media narrative is about destroying the black male image. There's just everything you see is about showing black males over and over again in the worst light. As you can see, you just heard Cheryl Ford come on my page. Her and her father's situation were estranged. I've heard the story. She's told me about it. She's cried about it. But now they're at a great place. He's making up for all of his past transgressions by through his grandchildren. He's living a Christian life now. He's he's trying to move forward in a Christian nation that always remind you of your lowest moment. I don't understand it. Thank you, Kwame. Now I can watch your show with my grandmother. <laughs> Sorry, Gramps. <laughs> But this is crazy, man. This is crazy. It's the media narrative that even when a black man is successful, his success becomes his prison. Because the only people that they will not talk bad media to is the ones that join that go along, get along, gang, gang. And they'll say whatever media narrative of the day is. Whatever you see on CNN, whatever you see on the the, the major networks, they got to go along, get along, gang of athletes that will say exactly the same thing they're told to say. This is one of the reasons why they don't like Kyrie. He disrupts that. This is one of the reasons why they don't like Giannis. Giannis is great. Giannis don't talk. Giannis don't care less about none of that. Giannis don't have no drama. Giannis is averaging what 30 like 11 and 5 and he's not even in the mention I heard Skip Bayless talk about him for MVP and, and his dummy that don't know nothing about basketball talking about he can't make the MVP he shoots like 60 something percent from the free throw line uh have you ever heard of Shaq it's like who cares what his free throw percentage is that even shows how great this guy is hell if he can hit like to if he can get his free throw percentage up to 70 80 percent shit he'll be averaging dang near 40. he'll be averaging 35 40. so he's averaging like 30 points with only 65 percent of his free throws made that boy don't play and he's not an mvp because all you know how to do is look at numbers and all you see is what joker's numbers is you want to know what impact is? This man got impact on both ends of the floor. A monster. When you're shooting that many free throws, do you know how many free throws this dude is shooting a game? He's putting pressure on your defense, not just shooting threes. He's applying pressure, uh, Skip. This is what a stat sheet don't teach you. See, when you have a Giannis on your team, Everybody on your team is in trouble for foul trouble when you have a guy like that. Jokic, yes, he's great. He's a good player. But sometimes he shoot threes. He up and under. He finesse the game. And that's cool. But we can keep our guys out here when you finesse it. Giannis going to score on you and go through you and get an and one. He dunking it every time. You're going to have to do something about it. That's why he stay at that free throw one. 
he applied that pressure. And you see what happened to Jokic when he went head to head with that monster and B. So I don't even know why we having this conversation. Yeah, he he can do that to them other guys, but when Embiid hit that building, or when he came to see Embiid, boy, look at here, it was like 49 and like what, 16, 17, 18? To like 20 something? Yeah, Embiid said, let me just show you without talking who the best is. And if I can play him every game, I'll do this to him every game. Man had damn near 50. Man had almost half a hundred. Are we serious? Are we serious? You're talking about Embiid so underrated. He is. That boy, they're cold. It just depends on how he feels. If he feel like just shooting jumpers all damn day, that's all you can hope for. You hope he don't feel like mixing it up in the paint. Just hope he he stay out and shoot jumpers. If somebody just feed him some goddamn on gunpowder before the game, all you got to do is show him Jokic. I just show him a picture of Jokic every, before every game because I know he's tired of hearing that he the best. I know he's tired of hearing that he the MVP. Shit, I'll show him a picture of Jokic every game. Look at him, boy. Do what they think, boy. Look here. Look, look. Come here. Flip this. Boy, think back to Africa, boy. Look, look at who they're putting in front of you still, boy. Think back to Africa. <laughs> That too much? That was too much, y'all? <laughs> but I sure would. I tell him, thank, thank. <laughs> oh, shit. Tell what, go sit that street? <laughs> that was too much? Okay, too much. I apologize. Yeah, he damn sure whooped his ass. Yeah, but if he want to get down in that paint and get dirty, if I was guarding him, I'd just back up off and hope he shoot jump shot. I wouldn't want him to want to mix it up. I like to play physical. So I, I probably would be stupid enough to hit him a few times and to make him come down in that paint and get dirty. And then he, he probably know how to do that too. But that's how I would make him play. I wouldn't want him to be out there dancing and shooting threes and shit. Uh-uh, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to make you come down there and hit me back. Fuck that. I wish I could have played against them dudes. I was already, I was already out the way. I was already basically out the way. That skill hands, that's so random. What do you say, man? That dude come out there, man. You see what he did when he? You can tell there's something with him and and, and Yoka. He came out there on fire. He came out there laser sharp. I'm talking about, I said, holy, I said, boy, I said, and B is not playing today. Somebody gave that boy some gunpowder or whatever he ate. And I think it had a lot to do with how the media talk about Jokic and not him. And if that's what he need to fuel his fire, I mean, I'll be an asshole teammate. I'll be, I, man, I'll go put Jokic bobblehead dolls in his locker, Jokic bobblehead dolls in his car. I'll make him think about a man every game. Every game day, it's going to be yoke or something. But we need you to do that every game. Shit. That boy went crazy. Yeah, like it was, if anybody ain't see that game, boy, he was on fire. I'm like, wait a minute, what, what money is this? That nigga was playing like it was, seven, it was the seventh game of uh, the NBA Finals. I was like, boy, this nigga laid a shot right now. He was clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, playing ball like a man, boy. He would, he would get out my way, little boy. Let me show you why, boy. I waiting on you. He looking like he was just at home, just like, boy. I can't wait till the night. <laughs> this nigga is breakfast. This nigga dinner. They mad. Mahomes have black. What the? Oh lord. Now they mad. Mahomes have black. I think they'll be happy. He a soul half white brother. What that is right there? You about to do some curve? Man, I, I had both of them like this the other day. While I was online, I was sitting here with it, just doing the curls and taking them from the curl to the press. 
Yeah, because I don't want to be a baby mama body like these niggas. Some of these niggas on YouTube sit here and drink all that liquor. <laughs> He a pig poker. And B needs an MVP, deserves it. Man, I'm telling you, man. I don't, hey. And, and Yoka, you can make the argument, but you can, Giannis is the one that you need to be really questioning what is the world is going on. Like, for them to not even have, yet, they don't even have Giannis in the conversation, really. Yeah, just the curl and the shoulder pressing. Yeah, I was just sitting here doing curls and shoulder presses yesterday. Just getting my shoulders right. You got to keep your shoulders good now. Shoulders and legs. You got to keep your legs. That's why I don't like that my ankle be acting up. You got to have a good base and good shoulders. Yeah. Giannis, 30 and 13. Different motor. 30 and 13, and he not even in the conversation for MVP. Why you only read mine, damn nigga? Cause your ass crazy, but you have some good tape. I read Unity too, though. There's too many next Kobe's being thrown out. If it be had Giannis motor, he'd be deadly. Yeah, man, ain't, ain't no, ain't nobody got Giannis motor. <laughs> this motherfucker could go coast to coast, damn near every play. You, you know how fast he's moving? He going 94 feet. Now he don't shoot threes. You know, he he rarely stop and pop. He's literally going coast to fucking coast every time he gets the rebound. Like I, I don't I, I don't know how he modifies his game when he gets older because when he slows down, you keep, you're not gonna be able to do that. At, well, we thought LeBron wasn't gonna be able to do that. So let me not say that. LeBron, what, 38? And he's still grabbing it off the rim, going coast to coast too. But LeBron still shoot threes, though. Giannis don't really shoot no threes. He going strictly coast to coast. So hopefully he can keep that up late into his 30s. Boy, that's going to be hard to do. He got a high pace, high energy game that he plays. Yeah, he going to need a sky hook or something. He going to need to be able to do something. You ain't going to be able to just go coast to coast and dunk on motherfucker that 35, 36. That's just going to slow down. So you're going to have to have a little <clears throat> shimmy pull up. Is Luca MVP material? See, from a scoring point of view, yes. But I like guys that do both. Like Giannis, they don't understand how important that is to a team. 30 and 13. And he probably averaged two blocks. And maybe a few assists. Yo, yeah, those are great numbers. I understand that. I understand those numbers are excellent. But I'm talking about impact. Giannis got numbers too, but we talking about impact. Yoka's numbers are amazing. Last year, that was even better, but we talking about impact. 30, 13, and probably two blocks. That, that's a lot to replace. 13 rebounds, that defense at the rim, and you giving up 30 a night. He bring it on both ends of the floor. I don't think nobody's scared of Jokic in the paint. But they got to worry about Giannis when you're coming down that floor in that paint. That is crazy. I think Giannis is, he just really settling into his body. And he was a little small, skinny joke. And, he, and now he looked like he Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, wherever he's from. So he got a good six years, seven years. He could play at this level. I'm worried about how long, I mean, like, what is his game modified to when he can't jump as high, when he can't run as fast? Because it always has to modify. 
The muscles get tight. They get tight. Just saying. Like Kevin Garnett. Shoot. I don't know who's coming out the West yet, but they're trying to make up a team for LeBron. It's whoever got the big market. I think the Lakers going to go on a run. They're going to let the Lakers win about eight or ten in a row. And uh, they're going to have, you already know, Kevin Durant is going to figure it out real fast with Phoenix because you got a point guard like that and you got two shooters. That's just going to make it wide open for him. So that's going to be more room for him to operate. Put Kevin in the pinch post area and you got two knockdown shooters around him. Man, that's going to be, and, and then you got Aiden big body around the rim. You got to take him serious. So that's going to be crazy. And the way Ed, Aiden already set the most picks in the league with him rolling to the basket, he got, he got a he pretty much got the um, Golden State situation all over again, but with a better center. Think about it, because they had Clay. The, it don't matter about the backups. I don't know. I don't know if the backup center can shoot. But what I'm saying is Aiden. But the the, the I'm I'm saying the, the starting five is that tough. Mm-hmm. That it's like the Golden State Warriors all over again, but they got a better scorer in eight in that center. This boy already give you like a double double, damn near. They got a good bench. They got a decent enough bench because Kevin Durant already played forty something minutes a game in the playoffs. They can slide Kevin Durant from the three to the four. Hell, they can play him at the five. He done play your center. They could do a lot of stuff with that lineup, man. That, that roster is crazy. You playing the right song, everybody got paid. Salute to you, Russ. They lost both of their defensive players. Yeah, I'm just talking about offense. You didn't hear me say nothing about defense. Sometimes good offense be the defense. Yeah. I'm talking straight about offense. Man, when you got Kevin Durant and you got Booker and you got Chris Paul, you got yourself something. And, and then you still got Aiden big big body rolling around dunking. You you can figure out them four key pieces. You can figure something out. Maybe it won't be this year, but they can add two pieces to that and you can make a masterpiece one. I'm trying to tell you, Kevin Durant will be there next year. If they play around in the summertime, get two solid centers, all you need is go get somebody like uh, uh, JaVale McGee. Everywhere you add him to a team like that, they win a championship. I'm going to sign JaVale McGee. I'm going to find, sign somebody like that who's long, who can run, who ain't going to hurt the team, who can rebound, who, who, you know, who can take them hook shot. I'm going to get JaVale McGee for that team. And then I'll go get me a wingman that play defense. I gotta find me a guard that play D. Shit, I go get that's when I go get uh uh, uh what you call it? They traded from the Lakers. He down there in Orlando, Patrick Beverly. I could throw him in for the minimum. I just put him in as a roster spot, see if he can play defense. You know what I mean? See if it work out. He older, I ain't gotta pay him really nothing. So then I can still go get me a a, a, a small forward. That sounds good with all the other teams. With all, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hometown, so. I'm hometown, so I'm, I'm all about the Hawks and the Falcons and the Reds, but I want to get these Hawks in there. You want to get them Hawks in there? We ain't going to get no Hawks in there. Baby mama body. Baby mama body got smoked with everybody. He's still lying on Kevin Durant. Udoka came out and, and roasted Baby Mama Body. I'm going to do that one. Yeah, I'm going to build up my backup channel. I'm, I'm going to do that on my backup channel. Uh, talk about that idiot. But yeah, we moved over to sports over there. Uh, they built up my channel over there. We moving it over to sports. And I'm going to create a third channel for roasting uh, 
Wabbits. Yeah, roasting weak weasels. Mm hmm. We're talking about a dirty bird. Damn, I never click on it. But, man, salute to y'all, man. I'm up out of this thing. I think Chris Brown is right. I want y'all to look up those names, man. Please look up those names and see if Chris Brown is right. You know what I mean? YouTube hating? Yeah. <laughs> y'all, man, this chat be lit, boy. This chat be lit. That's why they don't want y'all in here, man, because they know y'all going to keep coming back because the, the chat be making me not want to end the live, and I know I got to go. I'm late. But, man, y'all do your research and look up the names, man, and and see if I'm wrong about these media narratives. I thought it was just stuck at basketball, but I think it's more than just basketball. This is This is a game that they run on every industry. You see guys in the same field doing the same thing as the black counterparts, but somehow the punishment for the black guys is a lifetime punishment. It's every time you try to elevate, they bring up that worst moment in your life. But with the white guys, they're just able to get their awards and get their Oscars and have their TV shows and move on. I don't understand it. Y'all want to hear something on two point now? Now, if the chat want me to now, I got something for two point oh, but it's just it, it ain't it, it, it's somebody you know leeching off me again that I, I I was gonna react to on my new channel that I'm gonna create, but you know it can't be live. It gotta be a video that I upload. So if y'all want to see it on two point oh, I can do it, but uh, I'm trying to move that over to just sports. Yeah, I'll move it over to just sports. We don't, we don't, you know, we already, you know, we're doing good. We got monetized over there. We appreciate them though. Thank y'all. And then we'll, um, we'll take it over to the third channel. Look at Love Lace. I told y'all how Love Lace was at the bar. She with the shits. Look at her. She, she with it. She with it. Love Lace. I'm telling you. They tell my yes, do it. <laughs> Oh man, y'all crazy boy. But salute to y'all, man. I'll let you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get me a little workout in, man. I need to make sure I do my squats and do some back and some abs. And get rid of my baby mama body. And then I may come back with it. Since I see some people want to see it, I might come back with it. Let me get a little workout in. But salute to all y'all. And you alcoholics, drink some water. It feel good. Drink some water, drunks. Get you some pumpkin seeds. <laughs> you hit San Francisco Beach today. And that's what's up. Salute. <laughs> My wee black idea. It's love in the club. <laughs> T real salute to you, Detroit. No, you you from uh Baltimore. Salute to you, Baltimore. Oh, yeah. Drink some water, drunk. Yeah, drink you some water. Garrett, salute to you, bro. Sea Stone, Unity, salute to you. He told me, I'm built like a rock. Yeah, I got to get it back, man. I'm built like a a, a rock with uh, some feathers. Not not feathers. You know how the rock get that green moss to grow on top of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my rock covered up with that green mossy stuff that grew over top of the rock. Yeah, I got to shake all that shit off the rock, blow it all off. And then I look like a rock again. Right now, there's some mossy shit on me. <laughs> Another Baltimore in here, Craig Croner. Yeah, man, salute to you, man. I knew Baltimore wasn't like that. I ain't gonna let no one do represent, represent Baltimore. Uh, I always have a good time when I'm up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some feathers. Laugh a lot. I ain't no goddamn feathers. 
I said some mouth. Yeah, yeah, I'm just eating me a little pumpkin, pumpkin seed snack. Yeah, I'm gonna go to somebody who could buy and, 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 and look at a beautiful um, TV show. After I do my little workout, I'm gonna enjoy the sun. It's a beautiful day. I told myself I'd get some sun today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna walk around, get me some sun. So yeah. You chill with daddy bodies out. This this this. this yeah, this summer I'm gonna be ready to rock. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah yeah yeah. I gotta drop the top on that Chevy. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you, oh, I gotta take that call before we. Well, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna take this call because I gotta see. Yeah, I gotta see what I gotta see. You know what I mean? But yes, man. Salute to uh, Carcino for life. One crack news. Ears to the Streets TV 2.0. Uh, salute to Damn DPOV, Damn D Live News. Uh, salute to It's Just Gems, um, Gems I View. Salute to um, who else? The Political Kryptonite, Kwame Brown, Greatest Fans, and Ticket TV. I'm about this thing, man. Y'all go sub up the Kwame Brown bus like 2.0. Y'all please go sub up. But uh, yeah, man, I'm up out of this thing. I'm gone.